it's Sky. Welcome to my first voiceover video ever. Um, this is my first one, so bear with me as I learn how to do this. But I actually really love watching voiceover videos on YouTube, and so I just wanted to give a little crack at it. Um, this painting is one that I did on one of my Twitch live streams. I try and do an art um, painting live stream every Wednesday at 8 Pacific. It does vary a little bit, but I try and keep everybody updated with my with my Instagram. But for this one, I actually found a really cool draw this in your style challenge on Instagram. I will link the account in the post down below if you guys want to try and give it a shot. So for this one, um, I used a couple different inks and liquid watercolors. The green color you see is from the Eco line, uh, liquid watercolor brand. I just diluted it into different concentrations. So uh, something that I really wanted to personally work on this year was getting better at figure drawing and especially hair. It's a, a real challenge for me. So I spent a long time trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do the hair for this. So I started doing my pencil sketch and then I went over the hair with a micron pine liner just to kind of set everything in and see where I wanted to go back and put all the shadows in. And then I just did her skin and hair with like the lightest green eco line wash that I had made and then I went back and just kind of tried to picture where the, the sun would be hitting it and where to add that little bit of extra definition. Um, and I went back with the more concentrated versions and I think I had one too where I mixed in a little bit of blue just to kind of give it a little bit of that, that contrast in there. Um, I'm actually really excited with the way her hair turned out on this one. The one I did before this was like headed that direction, but very um, messy. So it's definitely a step in the right direction and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, for the red, I think I was using an acrylic ink actually, um, but I did the same technique where I had a couple of different ones in different concentrations just to you know, get the pink under her eyes, the bows, her lips. And then I used, I think, the unconcentrated for her tights, and we'll, we'll get there later. But I had a really good time putting this together and just painting it. And I'm actually really excited with the way it, it turns out. I usually draw animals, draw and paint, because, I don't know, it just comes so much more naturally to me. and. I think that it's so easy to um, make people look really wonky, <laughs> and so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited with with how she turned out on this one. But definitely something that I'm gonna keep working on as time goes along. I used pretty much the same color palette for the entirety of this painting. The only one that's different, um, I used a combination of acrylic inks to make the color for the pot and I used acrylic ink for her dress too which you'll see in a little bit. Mainly liquid watercolor. One thing that I really wanted to capture and I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't but the original photo had this very sassy attitude to it and I I really love the way that this piece turned out, um, but I don't think that I really captured her sassy attitude at all. She seems very, you know, pleasant. She has her cute little plant and happy, and um, and I love her, but I think that as time goes on, I'm going to try and work on like capturing different emotions a little bit better. Because if you go, you go look at the other one, it has like this really fun, just sassy attitude to it, and I love it. I think that that's honestly what originally attracted me to trying to do this. I used a combination of two different techniques. I used a wet on dry and a wet on wet for different portions. You can kind of see I started out with the wet on dry for the for her dress and then I kind of 
hold it out to create some of that highlight where the sun's kind of hitting her on the other side. Just something to keep in mind for different like little brush techniques and, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, and I think that that's, that's all I really got for you guys. Thank you so much for coming and checking out this video. Hanging in if you're still listening to my first voiceover. I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I would love to be able to answer them for the next one. I do updates on my Instagram for anyone who's interested. So more paintings, um, kind of where I keep my stream schedule updated too. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up or subscribe and hopefully I get to see your beautiful face next week. I hope that you have a magnificent rest of your week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.